Well, on October 18th, Grand Sawyer Middle School's advanced drama students will be presenting the powerful anti-bullying play, The Weight of Our Words, something that's very important for people to learn about. Now, this play was written by students in Florida and students at Sawyer Middle School. So here to tell us more about it are the drama teacher, Amy Robert, and one of the students, Aubrey Negron. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, okay, so this is definitely an important message. A lot of people impacted by bullying, unfortunately. So tell us about this play and the message. Um, basically, this play is to give people that feeling that, you know, people are actually showing what I'm going through on mm -hmm. stage and mm -hmm. people are watching it and enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And it honestly, I find it great, honestly, because people go through things on the inside and they don't really know how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. But this play shows that people, people nowadays, like, there's a lot of people who constantly get bullied and don't speak about it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it can lead to deadly causes. Absolutely. So this is kind of a way to, you know, make it make people know that they're not yes. alone. Yes, we um, we actually saw this play originally ten years ago mm -hmm. at a um, drama festival, and we came back and we went to our principal and said we would really like to put this play together. And so it's evolved over the years, and every single eighth grader in our school will see it on that day. And some of our actual students this year have written monologues and speeches for it to add mm -hmm. to make it more relevant to today's issues. Why did you think that this was something that was so important to put on the stage? I'll take it. Um, <laughs> so it's important because people nowadays they're they're constantly depressed or embarrassed that they like this certain certain person or that they look this certain way or have facial features that not many people like. Mm -hmm. And what on this stage will show that it's normal to be this way. It's mm -hmm. normal to like other people. It's normal to look this certain way and it's normal to have to get bullied and have depression. And it, we wanted people to not feel alone. Yes. And this is what we've, after each show, we do a talk back with the audience and they can ask us questions about it. And we have resources. We're giving any donations to an anti-bullying organization too. Mm -hmm. So what do you hear from the audience after you put this play on? Um, sometimes we hear, how was it on stage? Or have you guys gotten bullied before? Obviously, most of the kids obviously stand up and actually share the actual stories, mm -hmm. but some people, they're quite a little silly, and they're like, well, why are you performing this? We do get a lot of positive feedback, though, from the students, or they'll write us a letter afterwards saying that they made them not necessarily feel alone, that other people out there are going through similar circumstances, whether it be verbal bullying, physical bullying, or cyberbullying, which is, of course, the really big one at the moment. Right, absolutely. Would you say that this has made um, a difference in bullying that you see at the school? Yeah, I would say that a lot of people are standing up for themselves more since seeing our show. And since because of the way that it shows that someone can die because of bullying or someone mm -hmm. can have really bad depression, mm -hmm. it shows that uh, a lot of people don't st stop bullying slowly because it shows that people can go through the same things as you and it mm -hmm. doesn't matter if you could be rude to each other. And that you're not alone. And you're not yeah, alone. I think the I biggest think, thing. And, yeah. and the catchphrase of do you know the weight of your words kind of flies through the school after we do the performances. And so I think that's mm -hmm. a really important part of it. Absolutely. So when if people want to check it out, what do they need to do? So they can come. We're doing the show during the day for the eighth grade students, okay. but they also can see the show after school on Wednesday at 2.30 and at 4 p.m. And we will be having a talk back then also. Wonderful. Well, thank you guys so much. Definitely yeah. some great thank work that's you. being done that needs to happen, especially mm -hmm. at this age group. So thank you guys so much. Thank you thank so much you for having so us. Much. Of course.